on the way, it goes through my mind that I hope they're going to be okay. And most of you in this room, when we were in school, we worried if Nancy would dance with us on Friday after the football game or something. That was, that was our anxiety. But they're going to cloak all this stuff, you know, the, second, the myth of the Second Amendment, the freedom. You know, it's just, it's a myth. It's a joke. Prior to the matchup against the taking Dallas Mavericks, San Antonio Spurs head coach Greg Popovich spoke on gun violence in America, and he called out Republicans by name, including Texas Senator Ted Cruz, who voted against certifying the 2020 election. It's, it's just a game they play. I mean, that's freedom. Is it freedom for kids to go to school and try to socialize and try to learn and be scared to death that they might die that day? But Ted Cruz will fix him because he's going to double the number of cops in the schools. That's what he wants to do. Well, that'll create a great environment. Is that freedom? Then, Pop's ire honed in on Republican Thomas Massey, who made a spectacle of the guns he and his family own. Or is it freedom to have a congressman who can make a postcard with all his family holding rifles, including an AR-15 or whatever? Is that cool? He would not be done. Okay. I think if you like your washing machine, you should be able to keep your washing machine. Calling out Tennessee Senator Marsha Blackburn. Blackburn, her, her comment after it was after the massacre, my office is in contact with federal, state, and local officials, and we stand ready to assist. In what? They're dead. What are you going to assist with? Cleaning up their brains off the wall? Wiping the blood off the schoolroom floor? What are you going to assist with? Sticking with Tennessee, the governor of the state, Bill Lee, would also be called out. Bill Lee, I'm closely monitoring the tragic situation. Please join us in prayer. What are you monitoring? They're dead. Children. They're dead. When I pick up my six and 11 year old grandkids at school, when I'm here at home, on the way, it goes through my mind that I hope they're gonna be okay. Lastly, Pop sounds like any person who simply uses logic. I don't get it. You know, the greed of the gun lobbies and the manufacturers is obvious. We all know that, money talks, but the cowardice and the selfishness of the legislators who are so scared to death of being primaried and losing their job, losing their power, losing their salary. You'd like to get each one of them in a room, just one by one, and say, what's more important to you? If you could vote for some good gun safety laws that most of the public agrees to, would you do that if it saved one kid? Or is your job and your money so important to you that you would say, screw the kid? What's, what's in your mind? And I think about what- The head coach is saying what we have said for a long, long time. It can be kids in school getting shot, or it could be free healthcare, or it could be caring about the climate. It simply does not matter. This goes across the board. The biggest problem is money in politics. Thing is, Greg Popovich has been doing all of this for years. Here he is talking about it in 2019. On top of his comments, the longtime Spurs coach was fuming on Justin Jones and Justin Pearson, both young black men who represent Nashville and Memphis respectively, being expelled by white Republicans for daring to stand with protesters after another shooting. Is it the NRA? Yes. Is it the gun lobby? Yes. But it's also another company maybe some in our audience have heard of and maybe some have not. That is BlackRock. Per Reuters' article in 2018, they have $6 trillion, again in 2018, so it's definitely more, in assets in gun companies. You want to get rid of the root? You want to go to that root? This is it. Now, per Axios, here are the stakes they have in multiple gun companies.
The man with the most pull, who controls nearly every single corrupt politician, is this man, BlackRock CEO, Larry Fink. Lastly, there's one thing Pop said that stood out to me, which I have an answer for. He posed the following question. What is a Republican politician's family member, I'm sorry, what if a Republican politician's family member was tragically gunned down in a school because of gun violence? Here is my answer. And this stems from an article years ago with Rolling Stone. This man's name is Larry Brandt, an attorney in the state of South Carolina. His former law partner, this man, Senator Lindsey Graham. Brandt told Rolling Stone that one day prior to Donald Trump winning the 2016 election, Graham and Brandt met. And he recalled Graham saying, you're too honest to be in politics. And Graham told him roughly 85% of those in D.C., would sell their mothers to retain employment. Then, when Brandt ran in to Senator Graham at a restaurant, he reminded him of his own words. Brandt would tell the outlet, Lindsay, in my opinion, sold his mom to keep his job. 